Okay, so all you folks who wanted a different launcher a little bit closer to Froyo, this is ADW launcher. It's another home screen replacement. If you've got Froyo or you you like 2.1 and you got Sense, there's no point in getting this. But for everybody else who's interested, it has a couple of cool features. For one, you can drag some of your favorite apps down here so you can bookmark it. So I'll put that right there. And now whenever I, no matter what screen I go to, these two apps will be there. Uh, you can choose how many screens you have. Uh, I believe you can have up to seven. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Aside from that, when you launch the bar, you can do this little 3D launcher, or you can swipe from left to right. You see, uh, kind of like iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy S, how they do it. Uh, there's a couple other customization options. Uh, just take a look at it. It's called ADW Launcher. It's available for 2.0. Uh, 2.1 and I believe you can go back to 1.6 because I, I hear some people with G1's using it. It's called ADW and then another space launcher. This next app might only be of interest to you if you read nymag.com but even if you don't read that website I suggest you look at it. This is the official nymag.com app. It brings in all of their blog content uh, like Vulture, Intel, The Cut, Grub Street and Sports. Now, it's not just New York stuff. The magazine is New York Magazine, but it's basically entertainment, politics, and sports from a New York perspective. So while they do have a lot of New York content, in the blog section, it's mainly stuff that can apply to anyone. Uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff in the magazine and on the website. One thing I don't like is that YouTube videos are not playable within the app. They don't even give you a link to the YouTube content they just tell you go on the desktop obviously that's not an option otherwise I would have browsed your website on the desktop but other than that it's a very good app the text is formatted uh, you occasionally get links to the official uh, longer form of website uh, longer form articles on the website so if you like nymag.com and even if you don't I suggest you take a look at this app it's very entertaining and the next app that we're going to see is something that made a lot of waves around the internet last week when we showed you that Fring supports video calling on the Evo 4G. Now even if you don't have a front facing camera, you should get this app because you can do instant messaging and you can do audio chat. It supports contacts for Yahoo, AIM, Skype, ICQ, Google Talk, your phone, MSN Live, and Twitter. And it also supplies SIP, so if you have like Gizmo 5 or one of the other SIP droid services out there, there's plenty of options. Uh, I highly recommend this app. Uh, you can import your contact, you can do dollar, you can really increase your ways of contacting people with this app. You can dial with Skype if you've got the Skype out credits. You can get free Skype to Skype audio calls. You can do audio, vi you can do video calls as well as we showed in a previous video. So get this, it's called Fring, F-R-I-N-G, and it's available in the Android market for free. And this app is called Social Wallpapers. As you can see, it's a, a new way to see status updates. They float in and out in little bubbles uh, that float across your screen. Now if you've got a lot of widgets or icons on your home screen, it's not the most effective or practical way. But if you have them, uh, if you don't have that stuff or you want to just have a different way to look at your status updates, this can be a little cool. Now, they can get in the way of each other. Like right now, it's kind of annoying. But when you press it, one thing I like is that it'll launch the app that correlates with that. So if you have the official Facebook Twitter app, when I click on a, a Twitter bubble, it'll bring up the Twitter uh, Android application most of the time. Didn't do it right there. Come on. You can do it. I guess not. Uh, usually it does that and right now it's not working. It does the same for Facebook so the app does need some work but if you're bored you want to have your little status updates come in every now and then you can just get this app. It's called Social Wallpapers. It's available for free in the Android market.